what I'm playing is called Until Dawn. It's a horror movie, basically, but I get to interact and make choices. I was going to originally play with Lexi, uh, you know, because this is our podcast, but I realized that in this game, you make choices, you actually choose different outcomes, and it plays an effect into the game later. So if we disagreed on a choice, it would be kind of like a stalemate. So I'm just going to play this. Uh, this gaming series is going to be just me. I'm going to break up break them up into an hour i'll find a stopping point and uh we'll continue but uh so this game should be interesting to watch uh because it's fun to play so uh i have i have not i played like the first 30 minutes i haven't played this all the way through so uh we will see what horrible decisions i make uh <laughs> i'm sure i'll be responsible for many deaths on accident so, here we go. Butterfly effect. Hell yeah, Ashton Kutcher, remember that shit? <laughs> remember that movie with Ashton Kutcher? Oh, man. The smallest decision can dramatically change. Foreshadowing, that's what this is. You can't tell. All the decision paths, I guess? Your story, our story. It's one of many possibilities. So there's like 30 different endings to this game. Because you can make, you know, all these different decisions, but uh, we're not going to play it 30 times. <laughs> Cabin in the woods, how cliche, right? Ooh. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did it. Oh, hold on. I messed up. Let me make sure there's uh, subtitles. Wait, it won't let me. Menu's unavailable to... Oh, okay. Oh, during choices. Don't you guys think this is a little bit wrong? Come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah. Making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, and... Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm sure you're, there's no self-interest in this. To Mike is my man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. I played the first half hour, but I don't remember much of it. It was a long time ago. Hannah, okay. <laughs> what the hell is this? Adult hide and seek? <laughs> She's here. Shh, shh. Oh shit, they're gonna jump her ass. Is that Hannah? Mike? It's Hannah. Okay, it is Hannah. Hannah. <laughs> uh, jump her! He's Did wearing a jetpack. Did you see Dad that? It'd just be us this weekend. Josh. Josh. Oh, I'm this. Oh. I get to play uh, Miss Boots here. Check out these boots. <laughs> what is shining over here? X. <laughs> Press and hold R2 to pick up the note. Hannah, you look so damn hot. Ooh, some. Oh, love letter. I shouldn't be. Oh my god. I should not be what looking at this. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Ugh. Intervention time. Intervention. We're gonna have an intervention because she has horrible taste in men. I feel like that doesn't happen nearly enough. Can I? Hold on, I'm trying to make. Okay, I want subtitles. 
subtitles. Uh, sidebar text. What? Okay. Hopefully it helps you guys watch this. Tutorial. Yeah, okay. I, I figured that out. More glowing shit. Why is there bugs in this house that glow? Okay, you showed me this already. Jeremiah Craig. A made up alcohol Josh. so they don't get sued. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Her brother is an alcoholic. His name is Josh. I got your note. Glad you Oh, it's because of the note Maybe they found. You start with a little, you know, making out, and we'll see where it goes from there. Don't get hashtag me too. Careful. Oh my god, she's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Oh shit. Matt. It's got what a selfie stick. Here? I don't uh, like Matt. Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. It's all oh, got out of Just a stupid. <sighs> Ooh. Yeah. She's gonna survive to the end because she's the innocent one, the blonde one. This poor girl, all her friends are jumping Hannah upstairs and she sees this fucking. Wake Josh, no, he's. Okay, see, these are my choices. Wake Josh, he's an alcoholic, he's not gonna be of help and he wakes up anyway. Find the others. Guys, there's someone outside. Yeah. Quit jumping Hannah. Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. <laughs> what just a prank, do? dude. We're just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You just... She got me too. Hannah. They made Hannah. her take her shirt off and put her on so, YouTube's. Should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Okay, press the correct dash on because oh, the time shit. runs out. Oh shit! I forgot about these. Oh no. Uh fast, fuck it. You see these boots I got on? They're all traction. I can handle anything. Yeah, see that worked out. Where's her smartphone? Every smartphone has a flashlight on it now. She's just sprinting in the dark in the forest. Uh follow noise, follow footprints. Uh I'm gonna follow the footprints. I'm trying to find a human being. Oh shit, some elk. She's brave as hell. Jesus. Fuck shit. <gasps> she cussed. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? There you go. Turn on the flashlight. <laughs> hey, oh, okay. Hannah! Should've done this earlier. Uh, you can direct the light, Pete. Should start streaming this on Facebook, so if I get eaten by anything, they'll know exactly what happened. Looking for fucking Hannah. Oh shit, that scared the hell out of me. <laughs> He's that one to walk faster. Yeah, where's run? What's the run button? That's the most important part. Hello? 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 Hannah? What the fuck, Hannah? This isn't funny. Oh, what? What's this? A tiki man? In the woods? Death totem. That what was that? A flashback? A fat what? Foreshadowing? 
My dog barked at something. I got distracted. I honestly I missed it. Something's on. There's a forest fire over here. Hannah. Hannah. If you there's no footstep. There's no footprints to follow. I'm just wa now I'm lost in the woods. Now Hannah's probably holy shit. Uh Yeah. Run. What was run again? Oh, L1. I just Hannah. Hannah! Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. What the hell? That's predator vision. Hannah, <gasps> Run, Beth! Hannah! Oh shit. There's always someone that falls. And her phone? Fuck. Jesus Christ. No! No! Shit! <sighs> what is it? No! <laughs> Fucking Hannah. Oh my- Oh shit. Beth is strong as hell. Hannah can't do anything right. What? Iron Man. Drop Hannah? <laughs> yeah, she's kind of dumb. Drop her. I'm so her. sorry. <gasps> uh. <laughs> she fell anyway. This is where I stopped last time. So everything from here on is new. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. I don't trust anybody wearing a vest. Control. So you have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. This guy has dead eyes. So, you have committed to commence with this game. There's nothing behind this those eyes. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through. Hmm? Sure, man. All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up... I hate exercise. And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. Oh, these questions. To answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. What about what I feel about you? Now you haven't asked that yet. Holy shit. I drive a motorcycle apparently. Look at these gloves. Oh, fuck. Scarecrow? I think of the movie Jeepers Creepers? How about that? So, how... Did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Uh, it makes me happy? It does not make me happy. I feel uneasy. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? <laughs> you. You make me feel uneasy. It's the scarecrow. Well, I see. I see. Let's see. Scarecrow, we're not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. A week? In a barn? Uh, 
No, I don't want to spend the fucking week in a barn. Oh no? Why not? Lonely or scared? Uh, no scarecrow, I'm not scared, so I'm lonely, I guess. There's a fine line between the peacefulness of solitude and the loneliness of isolation. Perhaps this is something we can explore in the future. I don't want to come back, actually, so goodbye yeah, forever. We're out of time. <laughs> for now. Until Everything on this man is fancy. His pen was and, fancy. Uh, until then, try to surround yourself with friends in a place that makes you feel safe. This guy. Fancy-ass coffee cup. Look at that chair's fancy. Mr. Fancy. Dr. Fancy, his name is now. Okay. Oh, someone's singing to me. Baby dolls are always creepy. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington. The twins okay. who are still missing. One year okay, ago tonight, so one year, it's one year later and we're still missing. Their parents lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. The dude he with the selfie stick. He has history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. They never found well, her hello, body because we fell into a black hole. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Ah! <laughs> so, oh, shit. Um, Do this every year? Know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year. Oh, this is the guy passed out in the kitchen. I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. So this is Beth's brother. Them. If I, I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for... For the sake of my sisters and you know okay so let's party like we're fucking porn stars okay make this one trip we will never forget all right yes fuck 
So two people go missing. We're gonna go back every year to have a party. Yay! Remember the good memories of Blackwood Pines when those two people fell in a crack in the earth? Oh my god, he's still out there in the forest? <laughs> It's like, I can't believe these motherfuckers are back. Okay, Sam. Hannah's best friend. Diligent, considerate, adventurous. Well, if you're her best friend, you tell Hannah... You sh if you're really her best friend, you tell Hannah, never run into the woods blindly. You'll fall into a crack in the earth. She's considerate and adventurous. Hmm. Okay. Hello? Someone there? In this fucking forest. There's peeping toms everywhere. It's telling me over and over how to use the camera. I figured it out. Crows, always a good sign. What is it? What does it want from me? A note. Oh, what? <sighs> Damn it. Climb over. He printed it on his tax returns. This guy definitely has his identity stolen. Climb over. Oh my god. Let's go safe. I don't think that anything about this is safe. Oh shit, I almost missed it. Uh, climb, I'm not jumping. <laughs> Sam will die in the first 10 seconds of the story. Oh my god, I almost missed it again. <laughs> they didn't put a fucking mattress at the bottom for me to jump on? <laughs> How did the peeping Tom get over the fence? Oh, hey there, fella. You hungry? Huh? Oh, when the don't move icon is on screen, keep the. Oh, I have to hold the controller. And not move the controller. <laughs> Sam's never heard of rabies, apparently. Fuck. If you're unsure of what to do next, you can see your current objective. Okay. What? I thought it told me what I'm supposed to do. Okay, I'm getting out of this menu. Oh, it says at the bottom. Current objective, head to the cable car station. Through the fucking... Forest. So there's some Native American like history here because there's all these uh, totems and stuff. <laughs> cool. Indigenous people, butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believe that butterflies carry dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. 
I'm not gonna remember all that. Uh, as you can discover totem artifacts, picking a totem up and turning it will reveal a colored butterfly and a premonition of a possible future. Okay, that's what these fucking creepy things are about. So what color is... I don't see the butterfly. Yellow? What was that? A bird landed on a picnic table? What the fuck am I supposed to learn about that? The future is uncertain. Totem collection. Okay. Yellow is guidance. A vision of guidance for a future choice. Okay, indigenous tribes. That's the stuff I just read. So yellow means guidance, a vision of guidance for future choice. It was just a bird landing on a picnic table. And the black, oh, this is the one I picked up in the beginning that showed me falling into the earth. And then I fell into the earth. Okay. Don't pick up those fucking <laughs> totems is what I learned. I don't want to know. What? Who tagged the map? The pass is beyond our control. No shit. Thanks, Captain Obvious with a big ass red sharpie. Chris, you here? Oh, this is the cable car. It's fucking locked. Nobody has any manners in this bitch. And someone lost their backpack. Not in the bag, are you? How small is this person? What do we have here? Don't pick it up. Snoop or clothes bag? Uh, hmm. Wow. Just to make this gameplay interesting, I'm gonna. No, no, I'm gonna close the bag. Maybe nope. Butterfly effect appears when your actions Sam, change the game. Hey, you made it. Has a crush on Ashley. Methodical, protective, and humorous. Humorous, huh? Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. You wow. left your fucking phone out, dude. Tell you. you gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here gonna blow your mind um uh what's this oh man look at this clue, clue found okay i gotta figure out okay clues appear on here okay wanted poster for victor milgram a torn up poster from a fugitive on the route in 1998. Someone didn't want to see this. Someone didn't want to see this. Oh, the picture's ripped out. So we have no idea what this guy looks like. First degree arson. Death threats. Okay, Victor's not a nice guy. What is it? Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He's, He's an American? Like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. All right, here goes. Okay. Do I get a stuffed animal out of this at least? Wow. 
How many tickets was that? 40 tickets, right? All right. I'm bad. I'm a badass. Oh, God, Chris. I didn't guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Man, she's talking shit, Sam. Sam's talking shit. There's Mr. Rabies is back. Oh, I'm plugging him. I'm gonna piss off Sam. Wait, am I Sam, though? Rabies! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, shit. Bullseye! What are you doing? How could you do that? Chris, that is so effed up! What? <laughs> that poor little cat was alive about ten seconds ago! Oh, come on. Squirrels are just rats with bushy tails. Yeah. Sam. I told you I could shoot. Oh my god, that? Oh, that? Get what away. the hell? She's being attacked by a crow. <laughs> Jesus, are, are you okay? This mountain is freaking me out already. Hey, hey, look, our, our cable car is coming. Let's grab our ride. Well, shooting the squirrel had an effect. It probably pissed Sam off. If Sam has to save me off a cliff, she's letting my ass go. I think that's what that means. Okay, now I'm Chris. Great. I have to live with the consequences of shooting the squirrel. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Hey, yeah, that's weird. The door's locked. Yeah. Um, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Those are called the homeless. What do you mean? These people don't know what homeless people are? Sometimes they break into places to sleep? What am I supposed to do? Turn this on myself? was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm trying to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. Yeah. It's so beautiful in the day, but at night just feels menacing like sleeping giant. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. I'm not so rich. I only bought a mountain. We're going to this crazy ass mansion. Okay. Security camera's on though. What the hell's that a jacuzzi? Okay, switch to the, the cable car house we're in. That's not creepy. Is there anything else in here? Any other fucking rats I can shoot in the head? <laughs> Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some seeds, but okay. Ha, <laughs> Chris. She doesn't look happy. She's stuck in this car with me now. <laughs> Just like going to the prom. What? Oh, they have their prom there. Here we go. <clears throat> Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I'm kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. Everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. I don't care. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So, I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, That's I mean, hilarious. 
to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her train bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Okay, I get it. Ashton Kutcher's in the game. Jess. Mike's new girlfriend. She's confident, trusting, and irreverent. Trusting. That's a trait? Trusting is a trait? Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Oh, she's new to the group. She doesn't know these people. <laughs> Holy shit. Jess! Hey! Jessica! Over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Sure. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! Chris is an asshole, man. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Oh, so I gotta tell Chris? Hide that she's with. Okay, I could hide that I'm with Mike. <laughs> or take it away. Fuck it. Give me that shit back. Give that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to do that as a rule. Come on, Jess. You can tell us. You can totally keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam? <laughs> it's a little obvious, huh? Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge, like, right where the cable car ends? <laughs> the first thing she said was super annoying. She's intelligent, though. Resourceful and persuasive. <sighs> I don't know which ones I'm going to hate or like yet. I don't think it would have been, like, as pretty. Emily's new boyfriend. He's motivated, ambitious, and active. And I'm hoping Matt survives. Oh, he's he's getting uh, she's kind of driving him here a little bit. These are heavy. <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Can you wait up? Definitely not gonna feel like. Why are you talking to me thirty feet away? I mean, what do you think? Ah! Holy shit! Jesus! <laughs> Mike, Emily's ex. Oh. <laughs> Real convenient you showed up. Intelligent, driven, and persuasive. Okay. <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. 
Uh, <laughs> hmm, what do I say? Fuck off, Mike. Yeah, fuck off, Mike. You scared me. Michael, you gotta step off. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. I'm not gonna tell you again. Do we understand each other? Wow. Well, I thought maybe we could move past all this. It buds, but yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. I think you got the message. It's kinda hot when you get all alpha, you know that? Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important. Carry one bag, damn yeah, it. please. Fine, get out of here. It kind of annoy me anyway. All right. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All these new people to learn. Ashley has a crush on Chris, the annoying guy in the beginning. She's inquisitive, forthright, and academic. Oh, okay. Rock, rocks, trees. Whoa, hello. Somebody's Emily? getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. Oh, Emily's uh. Maybe check the expiration date on their big breakup. They don't look broken up to me. Oh! Holy shit! <laughs> hey, whoa! <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to. Scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real scare you. Oh my you. gosh, oh my gosh! Hey, well. <laughs> What's with everybody scaring sorry, each other Ashley. in the forest? It's okay, it's fine. It's fine. It should be off limits. Up? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, but yeah, I did actually. It it Emily's a bitch. Mislead, it's busted, or take a look. I feel like this is information you should know. Um, sure, uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. God I... Damn it. He knows what she's about. Matt. <laughs> okay. Jessica. Oh, waiting for Mike. Okay, I'm gonna actually stop it here. Uh, this is gonna be episode one. We kind of just got the story moving and we're meeting people now. Uh, obviously this will continue, so I will see you in part two. Thanks for coming along. It should be fun.